New York is close to putting back what the terrorists took away. Workers on the new tower rising near ground zero are erecting steel for the 100th floor on their way to 104. We asked several correspondents to take us to the top. Some declined, but Nancy Cordes jumped at the chance. Getting to the top of One World Trade Center is a job in itself. First, you ride up to the 89th floor on two construction elevators. From there, a series of ladders are the only way up to the 93rd floor, which has no walls and the sky for a ceiling. Here, Tommy Hickey and Michael O'Reilly spend their days scaling two-foot-wide steel beams. They're part of an elite four-man crew of iron workers called connectors. We connect the actual steel structure of the building, this steel skeleton, and all the other iron workers come in behind us. Two enormous cranes lower the beams into place, and then Hickey and O'Reilly bolt them together. What are we doing now? Setting that hundred floor. How dangerous is it being up here? Oh, uh, anything can happen. You can get, uh, especially with us. Fingers, toes, falls, it's very dangerous. And the heights, we just got to watch each other's backs. That's why I would say it's like my brother. I went with him more than my wife. The day we visited, they were raising the cocoon, a steel and net structure that surrounds the building for safety, so debris doesn't drop 1,200 feet to the street below. Working seven days a week, they are now just six feet away from overtaking the Empire State Building as the tallest skyscraper in New York, a status the Twin Towers held before they fell. It's uh, a trophy. You come here to do this, you know, biggest job in the city. Hickey is a fourth generation iron worker. His grandfather worked on the Empire State Building. His father helped to build the South Tower. O'Reilly's father was terribly injured while building seven World Trade Center in 1985. He was doing what I do now, it's, it's connecting what me and Tommy do, and uh, he, had, he had fallen and he, he was paralyzed. Yeah, so that ended my dreams of becoming an iron worker right then and there, and then 9-11 uh, changed all that all over again. So That's because seven World Trade also fell on that day. When the building came down, it all happened for no reason, so let me go in and rebuild it and to honor him, you know. The higher they go, the more punishing the conditions become. It's 10 to 15 degrees colder here than at street level. High winds and fog often halt construction. Down below, 3,500 workers are welding beams, laying metal rods, and pouring concrete, building what the architects say will be the strongest skyscraper in the world. A lot of pride, yeah, and all, and all these workers. I mean, everybody's proud of what they're doing. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, atop One World Trade Center. In addition to Nancy, the CBS fearless foursome who made the trek up the tower are Paul Letterman, Paul Cedia, and Jamie McGlinchey. That 